We've shot the shit long enough. Time to hit the road. I'll drop you by a motel in a couple of hours. You guys could use some time to yourselves. Should go see what David wants now. <laughs> Sean. Hey. Karen said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. I'm on it. I'll join you when I'm done. As if money could make up for everything he's lost. Must be his wife. <laughs> Time's taking a serious toll on him since this. Poor guy. Damn. I see why David ended up out here. But he still was a hero. Arthur said David could fix anything. <laughs> he hopes. Hmm. They look cool. I wonder which one is his daughter. Cool portraits. <laughs> Didn't think David had a taste for the arts. Yep, David is ready for that apocalypse, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, me and David won't be sharing any playlist. That must have been the best meal ever, to frame it on the wall. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <sighs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. <laughs> sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. Y you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just... Honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. Have a seat.
don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. When our town was destroyed by that hurricane. Well, my stepdaughter and her friend were among the only survivors. We lost everyone else. Jeez. I'm sorry. I used to hate them for running away. They hit the road straight away. Never to look back. While I was trying to rebuild. Did you stay in touch? Do you get along now? <laughs> yeah. It took me a while to acknowledge the past was the past and move on. Like they did. Once I realized that, I reached out to them. And we made peace with each other. They stayed here for a while. It felt good to connect with my daughter at last. You guys remind me of them, in a way. And I don't want to fuck things up this time. Sean, I'm going to do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you, okay? Yeah, of course. I know you guys got screwed. That you think there's no other way out. And you're neck deep in trouble, all right. But you and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? You're still young. I bet they'd be lenient if you step up and face the law. I don't know. I might turn myself in after I see what happens with Daniel. I know you want to settle down first, but keep your options open. Think about it. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, sweetie, what's up? No shit. Told you New Yorkers were assholes. Yeah, I know. How about that other gallery she told me about? Cool. Fingers crossed then. Nah, your old man doesn't fear the heat. <laughs> yeah, those solar panels are finally up and running. You'll see them next time you come by. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if you drive down to Louisiana or Texas, that'd be cool. Yeah, gotcha. All right. Take care, then. Wish Max luck for me, okay? Bye-bye. Love ya.